Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you unready because I am going to test out a new line to me called Merit Beauty. So Merit Beauty did send me these products. So a big shout out and thank you to them for thinking of me and reaching out. I super appreciate it. Merit Beauty is a minimalist makeup routine. It's clean. The whole less is more type of vibe five minute makeup simple easy out the door they're vegan they're cruelty free they're paraben free they're safe for sensitive skin they are um, fragrance free so just a clean simple beauty routine is kind of the motto and and the um, branding of their products and that really intrigued me and i will say that I am definitely a full face of makeup type person. I'm very into like the glam looks. I've always kind of been like that. But I feel like for the last year and a half, I have been craving something like this because I went from wearing makeup every single day, like a full face of foundation powder, the whole nine yards to not wearing makeup at all, um, very, very rarely because there was no point with wearing mask and wearing makeup. And there were a couple of days where I tried to do that with work, but I felt like everything just looked worse than if I just wasn't wearing makeup because your mask was mixing with your foundation and creating those marks and smearing your product. And so I kind of just was like, okay, we're not going to wear makeup. This just is the way life is right now. And I feel like I have been craving something like this where I can feel put together, but I'm not having a ton of heavy makeup on that is just going to smear underneath my mask. And this gets me back into the routine of doing my makeup every day. And that's something I used to really love to do. And so I feel like I've really been missing that for the last year and a half. So maybe you're like me in that way. Um, but that's why I was initially really intrigued about this brand because I thought this might be <laughs> the gateway to getting back into makeup and enjoying the process, but also feeling put together and not having it interfere too much with my mask wearing. So that was my ultimate kind of intrigue. So I um, picked out quite a few of their products. I don't have every single thing in the line, but I have most everything to share with you. So I wanna share with you first the way that the packaging came. It's so cute. So it comes in this little recyclable, box which is really really nice and then when you open it up you have their less is more kind of uh logo and then your first order with merit beauty comes packaged in this little reusable makeup bag are you kidding me how stinking cute is this so it just kind of wraps around and ties like this this is a machine washable bag so take this traveling with you take this on the go you can throw this in the washing machine to um, give it a good refresh i am obsessed with this what a great idea and what just like a great first time customer perk i think all of the products are down in here so i'm going to throw my hair back and we are going to get started trying these goodies I will say that I am throwing just a few other small products into this makeup routine because this is just what I feel good about. I'm not going to throw too much else into it, but I'll share those couple of other items as we go. First thing off the bat is the Minimalist Perfect Perfecting, I'm sorry, Complexion Stick. So this is a foundation concealer type stick in one. The point I guess is to um, put both of those products together. It was hard for me to kind of figure out exactly what shade I would be, but I got cream, which was like fair with warm undertones. I will say my skin is prepped like with my normal skincare routine. I have my Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense on, which gives just a tinge of kind of some coverage and some smoothing capabilities. So my skin does have that on there. But as you can see, I'm having quite kind of an acne breakout on my chin. I definitely have some spots to kind of cover up. So I'm curious to see how this will do. So that is what the packaging looks like. Just really simple. I really like the look of this. Um, and then 
we have the stick and I guess this just twist. Yeah, this just twists the product. So the idea is that you're supposed to just kind of put the product in places where you need coverage. I feel like because of my freckles, I'm going to have to do a little bit more than that because if I just, you know, put coverage under my eyes or on my acne spots, it all it's going to look strange because I'm going to have like blotches of really prominent freckles. That's just me though. So we're going to give this a go and I'm going to use um, my hourglass foundation brush to buff this in. Merit Beauty does have their own buffing brush that looked really similar to this. So I decided not to pick that up and just use the brush that I had and give that a go. I have a mirror up here. So if you see me looking up there, do too much. The point is less is more, right? But like I said, with freckles, I feel like I at least want everything to look even, you know, it goes on really nice. It feels, feels creamy on the skin. So I thought I probably, you could either probably use your fingers. Um, but I'm going to try this brush and just kind of buff. It's blending pretty pretty easy. I feel like it's giving me pretty decent coverage, but you still can see the freckles underneath it. Feels a little bit like I'm pulling on my skin. Maybe I should have just done it in like small sections and, you know, not put it all on my face right away but it does feel ever so slightly like it's pulling. Next is brows. So this is the Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade. I got it in the shade brown. I think they have three, three shades. Ooh, this packaging looks very luxurious. I really like that. Okay, so we're just going to, I've got nothing on my brows. Just comb this on. Little tiny spoolie, which is nice for some control. Oh, you can definitely see some color. It's just kind of adding a little bit of color to the brows and, oh yeah, you can definitely tell a difference. Yeah, I like that. That's really pretty, really pretty, really easy. I don't feel like there's a ton of product on the brush, which I really like. That's one kind of qualm I have with some brow gels like this is sometimes you pull this little spoolie out and it's just saturated in product and it just gets everywhere. I feel like this is just the right amount and easily kind of controllable. Okay, that's definitely a win. How easy is that? So next I'm gonna go in with a product that is not from the line. I wanted a bronzer. I just like kind of more of a sculpted look and Merit doesn't have a bronzer. One thing you probably could do is get another complexion stick in just a deeper shade and use that to kind of bronze and contour. I didn't think about that at the time. Um, so I tried to stick with something kind of on the similar vein. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. This is in Tan Lines. And I'm also going to take this onto my eyelid. Um, they don't have any kind of eyeshadow products either. You could use, like I'm gonna share a blush here and try that. You probably could use the blush obviously as an eye color, but I'm going to go in with just kind of this neutral brown um, and do some bronzing. Okay, so that is done. So I just did some bronzer like up on the forehead line and then I took the same shade onto my eyelids just with my fingers and just kind of smeared that on. I just like the bronze look a little you know, more sculpted, um, but that's just my preference. Okay, now on to blush. I'm really excited about this. This is the Flush Balm Cheek Color, and I picked this up in the shade Beverly Hills. I have never used a cream blush before, you guys. Okay, it comes packaged like this, which I think will be really nice just to kind of, I think I'll use my fingers. Um, very creamy. I like that color too. Very nice for summer. Um, okay, we're just going to draw this on. I don't want to go too heavy. And I've really liked 
to doing just a touch on my nose. I've been really liking that kind of sun kissed look. This already feels really, really nice. Like it's gonna blend really easy. It's very, very creamy. Oh yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Probably should have done just a touch less, but we'll see how it wears. Love that. That's a really nice, just kind of natural flush to the cheeks. I feel like, I don't know if you guys can really see. Let's move you more to this light. Yeah, just a really nice flush of color. Ooh, I really like that. And that was so easy to apply. Yeah, I do like the finger technique. I think if you used a brush, it'd be, you know, fine too, but minimalist, right? Don't bring a brush. Highlighting balm. This is the Day Glow Highlighting Balm, and I have the shade Kava. Honestly, I feel like that blush kind of gave me a really nice glow. Again, really simple packaging. I've really been loving just the simplicity of the packaging. It's very fitting with the brand, but I think it's really pretty. Ooh, okay. Let's see if we can watch. How pretty. Okay, I think I'll do this, obviously, where highlight normally goes. Blend. Blends really nicely. It's really the same consistency as the blush. I think if the foundation stick was a little closer to this consistency, I would like it more. And it's not like I dislike the foundation stick, but it you got to work quick, I feel like. It's ever so slightly drying. So, like I said, my recommendation would just be to maybe don't do the full face like I did. Do the small little spurts. Because I do like the way it looks. It just it's a little hard to apply. I think what I'm going to do, maybe on my pinky finger, is take a little bit of this and try to hit my inner corners here. Since, you know, we're not doing eyeshadow, but can kind of brighten that eye up. This is a really beautiful sun-kissed glow. Very glowy. Probably could have put a little less product on my cheeks. I might have went a little heavy-handed, but I do think it looks nice. Next is mascara. So this is the Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara. Um, I am going to curl my lashes, so that is something else I'm kind of adding into this routine just because I am a lash curler. Okay, I've curled my lashes. Let's see about this mascara. Ooh. I feel like everything just looks so luxurious. It's really nice. All right, I like this wand. Not too big. I really like this already. Very non-clumping, which is something I feel like I struggle with mascara at times is when I apply it, I just get like clumps. This is really separating and lengthening. Okay, so those are the lashes. Granted, I mean, I curled my lashes, so part of the volume is probably due to the curl, but I do think it really lengthened. It's a very natural look, which I like. And it wasn't clumpy, which I'm telling you is my biggest pet peeve when it comes to mascaras. I've never been one of those like spider lash people. So this is awesome. I really like this mascara. And then finally is lips. So I have two of their shade slick tinted lip oils that I picked out. One color from their original launch and then they just came out with four new shades for the fall time. So this is a lip oil that is infused with like rose hip oil and shea butter that really is supposed to give you kind of that natural flush to the lips, but also really hydrate and keep your lips comfortable all day. So the first one I have is an Ah Natural, and that is from their original line. And then their new fall shades, I picked up a Falcon. So I think we'll go ahead and use Falcon today and beautiful. So the top one is the Ah Natural, and then this bottom one is Falcon. I'm gonna use 
Falcon because I always love those little vampy shades. You guys know that. Okay, little applicator. Ooh. I mean, it looks pigmented in the bottle, but it's more pigmented than I thought. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. This is a total Alexis shade. Let's swatch this other one too. That'd be prettier. Just kind of, I feel like this is a good everyday color as well or more for like the summertime. I just love the vampy shades. This is more of like a peachy coral color. This is so comfortable. I barely can even feel like I have anything on. If you watch my empties videos, you know that I am like a lip balm chapstick fiend. I always love having something on my lips and this feels just so nice. And that color is beautiful for the fall time. Totally up my alley. So here is the final makeup look. This is in artificial light. Um, I really like it. It's very different for me. Like I said, I normally do a lot more on the eyes and stuff, but I think adding the bronzer kind of helped to make me feel like I was a little more sculpted. I love this. I think my favorite products are the blush and this lip oil. So nice. This looks so natural, but it looks put together. I am, I'm really pleased with how, how this turned out. So I'm going to go finish getting ready for the day and then I'm going to take you outside and we're going to do the same thing in natural light and just see what it looks like. Okay, I'm outside in my front lawn talking to myself <laughs> as sure as what it looks like. But this is the makeup in natural light. You can really see. So that is it, you guys. That is my first impression of Merit Beauty. And I have to say, I really am feeling good about it. I really like it on first impression. I'm curious to see how it's gonna wear today. Tomorrow when I go to work, I'm curious to see how it would do underneath a mask and all of that. So we'll see how it goes. But right off the bat, I'm really feeling like this could kind of be that fit that I need for wearing mask and also wearing makeup. I feel put together. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything too heavy, which I like. It feels good on my skin. You'll have to let me know what you think of this look or if there's any product that really kind of stood out to you. Like I said, I think the blush and the lip oil are my favorite of the whole batch. I have the Merit Beauty website linked in my description box below so you guys can check out the products and read reviews and whatnot for yourself, get more information. Make sure you check out if you do the new Shade Slick colors for the fall time. I feel like this is kind of muted out a little bit more. Like it's kind of worn down and it's not as like, I don't know what the right word is. I want to say pungent, but that's not the right word. Just like super brown kind of pigmented. It's kind of meshed with my lip tint a little bit more and it looks just like a really nice flush of color. So I'm really excited about this. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this first impression of Merit Beauty. And I will chat with you in my next one. Bye.